Oliver Ames High School Sports home game coverage is underwritten in part by Bank of Easton, Premier Properties, Law Office of Sutton & Sutton, Easton Historical Society and Museum. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's home games possible. And welcome, welcome to Wampa High Circle Field for tonight's tonight, MIAA, MIAA State, State Division II Boys, Boys Soccer, soccer matchup match between the visitors Division from Hopkinton High School, High School versus the home, home, home team, team, All the Ames High School. At this time, we'd like to introduce the players. First, for the visitors, Hopkinton Hilla High School. Number zero, Tyler Golden. Number one, Max Nye. Number two, Jake Green. Number three, Carlos Henke. Number four, Gustavo Gomez Donati. Number five, Adea Sass is Kuma. Number six, Andrew Mayorovski. Number seven, Jake Arnello. Number eight, Luke Boothrod. Number nine, Sam Vessington. Number 10, Peter DeMichael. Number 11, Neil Abraham. Number 12, Declan Nick. Number 13, Dylan Bashan. Number 14, Ruben Norland. Number 15, Garrett Hathaway. Number 16, Brian Gould. Number 17, Arian Samarka. Number 19, Jake Provincher. Number 20, Sean McCann. Number 21, Will Bialuk-Ritsky. Number 22, Sean Gumla-Bialuk-Ritsky. Number 27, Zach Bitterman. And the coach for the top Canadian Hillers is Garrett Sawyer. Now, for the home team, the Oliver Ames Tigers. Number zero, Drew Hall. Number one, Dominic Davies. Again, number one, Zach Gilson. Number two, Chris Davis. Number three, Diego Rivera. Number four, Jason Zell. Number five, Jacob Williams. Number six, uh, number six, Luke Churchill. Number seven, Braden Black. Number eight, Ryan Lynn Harris. Number nine, Hector Buccio. Number ten, Joey Gar uh, Garnet. Number eleven, Casey Milligan. Number twelve, Mary DeSalva. Number thirteen, Matt Lee. Number 14, Jackson Baycumber. Number 15, Hartman Chatty. Number 18, Jackson Mercerese. Number 19, Andrew Martin. Number 20, Alex Finney. Number 23, Josh Ventura. Number 24, Craig Churchill. Number 26, Nicholas Fabinitsky. Number 33, Daniel Flaschenberg. Number 36, Cyrus Hadrigany. Number 42, Bernie Alley. Number 43, Michael McAdam. Number 44, Mike Morales. 
Number 51, Aiden Byers. In the coach for all of Ames Tigers is John Barretta. Tonight's contest are in their place, tonight's contestants are in their place here as a result of a long, challenging, successful season. And regardless of the outcome of tonight's contest, each team will remain champions in the hearts and minds of their proud community. In keeping with the spirit of this championship event, uh, and our request to the accomplishment of these two outstanding teams and their communities, the MIOA and its member schools would like to remind you that all present tonight, they are expected to show the utmost respect for game officials, coaches, athletes, and their opponents by cheering their team on in a positive way. There will be no tolerance for jeers or comments that they need taught, wicked you, or a met to embarrass anyone who is participating in this contest. All spectators, spectators are reminded that the MIAA strictly prohibits spectators from the access to the player service during or after the game. We trust you to all of the MIAA policies and help to make this a memorable day for your outstanding student athletes and coaches. We would like to extend our congratulations to Hopkin High and all of Ramsey High for their outstanding seasons. Our great nation is preserved through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand We thank you for your services to our country. Now we will invite all spectators to please rise, remove their hats, as we honor our America with senior Libby Harrelly from Hopkins and High as she sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale sky, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. Welcome to Division Two MIA uh, Soccer Championship here at Walpole. This is ECAT's presentation. We have the Oliver Ames against Hopkinton for the Division Two. Yeah, we should have a good matchup here. Um, Oliver Ames boys team is the number one ranked team coming into this tournament. They're taking on Hopkinton, the Hopkinton Hillers. We're just coming off of a previous matchup. We watched the girls' soccer team in the Division II state championships. They lost a matchup to Silver Lake 1-0. We congratulate the girls' team for an outstanding season. And we get ready to see this state championship game as the boys take on the Hopkinton Hillers. We'll see what both teams bring out there today. We apologize. We don't have a roster for the Hopkinton team, so... 
We're going to be going off numbers on that side. We do have Yarl of Rames roster. It is a little out of place, but we should be able to find it. I believe Hopkinton is the away team here. They're going to be the ones starting with the ball. Chilly night in Walpole. We're here at Walpole High School. It is a cold one. I've gone back to the car and grabbed more layers on three different occasions. I will probably do it again. You think it's cold, but then you got Coach Braggett here in shorts <laughs> to uh, prove us all <laughs> that right? it's not as cold as you think it is. I always wonder that, how these players aren't freezing out there in their short sleeves and their shorts. Definitely a lot of uh, determination to get out there every day, whether it's for practice for a game. Get out there through these cold weather, this cold weather and, you know, give everything they have to their team. Hopkinton Hop taking their time. Yeah. Hopkinton here, uh, going through the uh, looking at the bracket of all the playoff games. Hopkinton's had a lot. They're coming. They had a by the first round, but every game has been in overtime, except the semifinals is the only game that hasn't gone in ov overtime or penalty kicks. But they beat Bedford four to three. While Alvar Ames has had some games back and forth. Being some close ones, some blowouts. So we'll see if they continue this. Do you have what seed Hopkinton was? Two. In front of you? They have the two, two seeds. We had a two seed versus a one seed. Should be a very good matchup then. Hopkinton gets the ball to start the game. Fast paced play on the other side of the field. Number 17 has it. It's going to go out of bounds. Staying. Looks like it's going to be Oliver Ames away. Toss in comes over on that side. Can't really see numbers that far out. But we got all of Rams controlling in that corner. They send it back in. Ball in the corner. The defense will get a little bit of a crash. crossing pass. Not going to reach in front of the net. Going to hit behind it. Go out of bounds. And we'll have a goal kick for the Hopkinton goaltender. Kick goes up towards this close sideline, looking to get it to number two. Oliver Ames, though, gets their foot on it and is working it back into the zone. Looks like Andrew Martin's had a play on it. Now we go over to that sideline, and the ball is going to drift out off that back line for another goal kick. Line drive kick coming out towards about the 50-yard line. Settled and controlled by Andrew Martins. Martins gets it in the air, and he plays it over to his teammate. That's number 24. That is Craig Churchill. Now the ball gets lofted into the Hopkinton zone. Hopkinton player heads it out, trying to clear the zone. It's put back in by Oliver Ames. Oliver Ames starting on with the long ball, really trying to chip it in very quickly into the box. So far, we're only two minutes in, but it seems like ball's only been in Oliver Ames' attacking zone as Hopkinton gets a little bit of their own attack going. Ball's bouncing towards the goaltender. That's Drew Hall wrapping it up for the Tigers. Hall's had an outstanding season. Great job behind there, behind the, his defense there in goal, keeping uh, everything he can out of that net. Bounding ball goes off that far sideline. It's going to be a throw in for Hopkinton. And they get a good one. It goes down deep. Number 12 is going to control in the attacking zone. Gets a deep reset. It's looking for a little bit of a pass. Can't get it there. Goes off a player. And he has to reset with it. Looks like we got number 9 taken up. Maybe Hector Busio making, trying to get a connecting pass up to. Looks like it was number 18. Jackson Misserini. Coming in with a little bit of attack. That's number five, Jake Williams, bringing the ball in. It's going to go out of bounds. Off of Hopkinton, stay Oliver Ames throw in. Toss is a high and deep one. Nobody could get their head on it. Ends up in the possession of the defense. 
kicked out the sideline. Oliver Ames is going to have, have another chance for a throw in. Looks like it's going to be number 19, Andrew Martins, taking it. Martins with a deep task towards the crease. It's bouncing around. Defense gets their foot on it, kicks it up into the air, out, so that Oliver Ames has to bring it back in. They do now. It's in the zone. Control, that's Andrew Martins trying to get a foot on it for Oliver Ames. He can't. Another good play from the Hopkins defense to get it back out. Number 18 now for Oliver Ames with a pass inside. Good opportunity. And that one's going to go by the wayside. That one got tipped twice. We had a good shot opportunity. Goes off of a defender. Looks like it might have beaten the goalie, but the last tip from the defender puts that ball out of bounds. We're going to have a corner for Oliver Ames. Corners up and away. It's a high one towards the middle of the field. Gets stuck in a group of players. Kicked out towards this close sideline. Staying all of the Rams' direction. Toss in was number 18, Jackson Mercerini. And now that ball goes back into the corner and off that back line. It's going to be a... Another corner for Oliver Ames. This time it's going to be number 11 taking the kick. Don't have him on my roster. He bets it up towards the side. Little nice opportunity towards the crease. Not going to go. Now bouncing ball. Oliver Ames trying to control. It's going to go be kept in off that sideline. Oliver Ames player and the defenseman. Pinned the ball and it stayed in. Now it works toward back towards that crease. Oliver Ames working it back in. Good opportunity for a shot. Too much on that. Goes through the uprights. That one's going to be no goal, but if we were playing football, that'd be three points. So a line drive kick towards about the 50-yard line for the goaltender. Gets headed out by Oliver Ames. And work back in now with a defensive attack. A short little pass. I mean, a shot. Shot never left the ground. It was going wide right anyways, but the goaltender makes a good jump on that, diving on that ball to control it. Punt. This time a little bit shorter. Controlled by Mercerini. And now over to number two for Hopkinton, who's working it back towards his defensive players so they can control. They work it all the way back towards the goaltender, who's going to put a big boot on it. Get that ball out past the 50 this time. Not before Oliver Ames heads it back in. We have number 11 taking it up that right side line. He loses the ball to Hopkinton. It's going to go, well, it's going to stay in bounds, excuse me. It's far away, I can't tell. Still in bounds on that sideline. Now picked up by Hopkinton. And advanced along that sideline. That player is going to win the race to the ball. He has control, continues to move it into the corner. Stops trying to get a pa uh, route on it. We're going to end up with a corner coming from Hopkinton. Hopkinton's first corner of the game. We'll see how it goes. A little short pass. Didn't really get in. And one out by Oliver Ames. Now they're taking it up that same sideline. Player trips. We're going to have a stop. Resetting for Oliver Ames. Set piece coming now for Oliver Ames. Kick is a line drive shot. Couple bounces and it finally makes its way towards the middle of the field. Looking to connect with Mercerini. Now he works it back towards Andrew Martins. Martins with a good angle and a good shot. But it's wrapped up by the goaltender with a nice diving play to his right side. Oliver Ames continuing with the threat, even though Hopkinton came the other way. But Oliver Ames is definitely adding pressure to him. They just get a finish once they get to that box. Oliver Ames controlling play early in this one. We're about nine minutes in, and Oliver Ames has been controlling the attacks. As Hopkinton controls the ball now, works it back towards the middle of the field and into the Oliver Ames zone. 
Andrew Martins now bringing in that corner, trying to get around the defender. He does. Get loses it, goes down. We're gonna have Hopefully a call on that. for Oliver Ames. And they're gonna give Oliver Ames a shot here. It's gonna be number eleven on the ball. I don't have him on my roster. <laughs> I try to put this thing right on net. Maybe if you see if you can't get a tip or a bad bounce, get it by the goalie. Yeah, the way Oliver is, Oliver Ames set up in the back, it looks like it's going to be directly on net. Feed toward the middle, kind of stayed yeah. on the ground. Defender does a good job lifting the leg and getting it out of the attacking zone. Oliver Ames has to regroup. They kick it back towards their defense. Sends a big boot in. Ball stays in the air. Yeah, Oliver Ames was set more to the back post, so you can tell they were going to run in late and just get the rebound or try to get the tip of the bounce out. They weren't going to get really run in for that uh, cross header. Just like this. Oh, just couldn't make it past the line. Last line defense. Another shot coming in. Defense, good job getting this leg on that one, denying it. Back towards the middle of the field. Hopkinton trying to do something with it. Just getting it out of their defensive zone for the first time in a while. Works it over towards the middle of the field. Crossing they have another the pass middle. towards the right side. It gets by him oh. and a throw and a crossing route. Still fighting Can't stay with him. The Oliver Ames defense, yeah. a great job recovering. Sends that one out of the zone. That Hopkinton play at the last second tripped on. I don't know if it was the turf or so much the ball, but as it going down... And the head ref was there letting it play on. He made it through the two Oliver Ames defensemen and then got tripped up at the last second. Didn't allow for a shot opportunity, but Oliver Ames is working up their own chance for a shot opportunity here. A couple connecting passes. They work it back towards the other side of the field, try to see if they can reset, get something else working. Setting it back towards the defense, puts a little move back to the same man. Just playing a little bit of pass and keep away here now. Working all the way back into the zone, seeing what they can set up. Towards the middle. Going to go by everyone and out off the back line. Oh, sideline. It's going to be a throw in. Excuse me. Deep in the zone. Deep in their defensive zone for Hopkinton. Hopkinton with a good pass. Long pass towards the middle of the field. Gets through everyone. And Oliver Ames recovers. That back line for Hopkinton is doing a great job to not allow those last passes, those last shots through. Hopkinton player goes down. We're going to get a stop. I know the, uh, the final back two for Hopkinton uh, uh, has been closing off Oliver Ames for the quick pass in or the chip -ins. Big shot down the middle. Going to work its way all the way through. Oliver Ames defense keeping it in the air. Hopkinton gets it on the ground, trying to get some passes through. Defense not allowing it, kicks it out. Player goes down, Hopkinton plays on, getting by one man, trying to get by another. They work it back, trying to reset, see what they can figure out. Long pass goes off the head of number two. Now we got a little scrum for it. Uh, is number 24, Craig Churchill, fighting for the ball and winning it for all of Rams. We don't have the Ross, but Hopkinton's captain, number 10, is really a good job uh, distribution of the ball in the middle, just letting the ball flow back and forth. Hector Busio kicks that one right out of bounds, and it's going to be a Hopkinton throw in. Controlled in the middle of the field by number 10. He kicks it over to number 17, working up towards that far sideline. Trying to get around this Oliver Ames midfield. Is having trouble so far, though. Doing a good job going up one way, getting it through the other way. That back line defense is what's really slowing down Oliver Ames to get it any further. Number 22 trying to win the fight down that right sideline against Hector Busio. He ends up winning it. It's gonna be a throw in coming from number 12. We'll see how long of a long uh, throw in 
Hopkinton has. This is a good opportunity to get a header in. Tosses a deep one in the zone, looking for a header, bouncing around, Ooh. just goes through the crease and wide left. Unlucky. I think that back uh, post Hopkinton play, I thought it might have been going through, so he didn't really challenge the ball, but that was a good opportunity for Hopkinton to get it. Drew Hall puts a boot on it, sets it up. Ball's going to land a little bit around the 45-yard line. And it's going to be booted around in the air for a bit. Ball's still in the air. Finally gets settled down by the Hopkinton player and worked up towards his close sideline. Race for the ball. Marciani is not going to win. It's going to go out of bounds off of Oliver James. Thrown in by number two. Looking to get it over towards number 22 down in that corner. Towards the crease. Drew Hall has the hands, though. Jumps up for that one before it can connect with a Hopkinton player. As we can tell, it's going to be really tough for Olive Rain's back line between the cross crossings and the throw-ins from the outside. Hopkinton's getting good opportunities to get a shot on the net. Sub for Olive Rain's. We're going to have Marie De Silva come in the game. Checking out number eight, Ryan Linharis. All the Rams working it towards the middle. That defense from Hopkinton not allowing it though, and they're sending it the other way. We got a race to the ball, won by All the Rams, sent to that sideline out of bounds for a throw in for Hopkinton. Not going to waste any time. Oh, it looked like they were going to go fast. Sent towards the middle, all of Rames playing it in the air. Ball gets back on the ground. A couple legs go up. It's working back towards that corner. All of Rames kicking it up towards the far sideline and out of bounds for a Hopkinton throw in. Same thing, thrown in, headed out by all of Rames. Hopkinton attack is trying to keep the ball in the zone, see if they can muster together a good shot opportunity. Towards number five in the center of the field. He gets by one man, gets by another. Trying to get by a 30. He gets a little too fancy with it. He can't, loses it to the Oliver Ames player. And now we have number 12 coming up the sideline for Oliver Ames. Oliver Ames with a crossing pass. Connects on the pass. See if he can center it. The shot, a little too much on it. It's going to go up and over everything. Good looking attack from Oliver Ames, though. They had the numbers, they had the positions. They connected on the passes, just a shot. Shot had a little bit too much on it. Line drive kick coming from the goaltender. Centers itself in the middle of the field. Back towards number 17. Kicking it up. It's going to go out of bounds. Oliver Ames to throw the ball in. Throw in is going to come from number 3. It's going to be Diego Rivera. Rivera gets it in. Hugging that sideline. Keeps it up, Oliver Ames trying to race towards the ball. No possession yet. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oliver Ames gets it, works it out towards his teammate here on this close sideline. Now over to Andrew Martins, back up towards center. Gets it over to Craig Churchill. Churchill finds his teammate on that side, Rivera. Rivera boots it back for Jake Williams to take a big shot at the ball. It's out in front of the crease. Hopkinton trying to control, get it out of the zone, but they can't. And Oliver Ames controls down in that corner. It's going to go out of bounds off of Andrew Martins, just trying to get be a little too fancy with it. And number two for Hopkinton is going to have the throw in. Toss hugs this sideline. Goes out off of Oliver Ames. They move up a couple feet, try it again. Toss comes in towards the middle. He works it back towards number two. And we get a stop in play. That was an early warning from the ref about the trip. I didn't think it was that bad to get a verbal warning. but Nah, it just seemed like their feet just kind of got locked. Yeah. Looks like the ref's trying to really settle it down before it gets out of control. Pass goes... 
through everyone, working its way towards that far sideline, controlled by Hopkinton, trying to put a turn on it, put it back towards net. It's going to go out of bounds and be Oliver Ram's ball, though. Throw in coming. I believe that's Diego Rivera in that corner. Could be wrong. It's very far away. High pass. Gets headed by a Hopkinton player over to Oliver Ames who boots it ahead towards midfield. Up through everyone. That's Andrew Martins working the ball. Trying to get through two defensemen. He gets through a couple. The last one gets the ball though and Hopkinton has it going the other way. 50 connecting pass towards number 22. Doesn't go. He had the speed but Oliver Ames had two men back. One to match the man, one to match the ball. Toss in, hugging that far sideline, headed. Ooh, a little push from the back. Towards the middle of the field now, controlled by Hopkinton. Sent up towards number two in this close sideline. Connecting pass is one. Can't connect on that next one, though. And Oliver Ames, number five, Jake Williams, is going to control that, boot it out towards the center. Number 20 with a shot towards the middle of the field. Turning kick, not going to be on net, going to go wide right. And it's going to be a goal kick for Drew Hall. One thing that Hopkins is having good opportunity is chipping it in or crossing it in. But Olive Rames isn't letting that first touch after the cross goes in for anything to happen. So the Olive Rames back line is definitely shutting things down when something starts to cure up. Shorter punt from Hall goes out and settles itself around the 50-yard line. Worked back up by Hopkinson out of bounds off of Craig Churchill. Speed of Hopkinson's captain. He has in the middle of the field to turn. It's really what's helping Hopkinson in the middle. And cool. I think it's freeing up space on the outside. Oh, Rams is having a tough time matching the speed. Of uh, this Hopkinton attack. Long throw in opportunity here for Hopkinton. Yeah, we're going to have number 12 on the ball, looking to throw it in. See if he can't get a nice head on it from somewhere. The fight, ball's going to make it all the way through and just go out of bounds. A little off target, but he definitely had the distance to get in there. Drew Hall on the goal kick now. Kicks it out with a line drive. Kick. It's going to bound its way towards midfield. Can number 20 on Hopkinton kicks it out. Andrew Martins and Craig Churchill with a pair of headers trying to control this soccer ball. They send it back towards their defense to maybe get, try to get something going. It's Marcini here on this close line feeding it up to Luke Churchill. Oliver Ames trying to work on the outside. Looking for that cross in. They're just waiting for an open opportunity. Just Unfortunately, it just pops back out. Uh, Hopkinton is switching a few players. Got like four guys coming in. Bunch of changes for the Hillers as they have the ball to throw in here on that far sideline. It looks like they replaced mainly their midfield. I saw one of the forwards go out. About 17 minutes left here in this first half. 0-0. Zero, zero. No score so far. Oliver Ames doing a good job dominating on the attack, I'd say. It's been a couple good opportunities for Hopkinton, but time on attack is definitely in favor of the Oliver Ames team as they get another good pass in here that connects all the way. That's number 10 working around, looking for the angle. The oh, shot is shot. Oh, what a and save. A great save by the goalie. That shot was centered. He did a great job getting around it, getting it on net. And a diving save by the goaltender saves a goal. One thing with Oliver Ames is shooting, scoring opportunities. That you can see it working through the progressions of coming from the backfield. Hopkinton is really just working its way from the out and crossing it in. 
they're just making set plays. Like two of the good opportunities were from a throw in off like the ten yard line almost right out of the eighteen box. So I think I, I feel like Olive Reigns has a better progression working its way up. Andrew Martin's making his way back on the field for the Tigers. Pass comes back to the Oliver Ames defense. Now they're trying to get something going as they bring the ball into the zone. That's a high arcing pass towards the middle. Uh, Couldn't get the head on it to get the tip. Oh, wow. <laughs> Works in Oliver Ames' favor, but I feel that just went over everybody. So Oliver Ames gets a corner out of that. It's going to be number five, D. Jake Williams on the corner. It was a good crossover. It just couldn't connect to that header, but all the rings works out. Towards the middle of the goal and snuffed out by the Hopkinton defense. They send it back out towards the middle of the field. All of Rames looks to regain possession. And that ball heads off the back line for a goal kick. But again, with that last cross, you saw Oliver Ames working its way on the outside, and the cross just came. It was, it was the right spot. It was just a little too high for Oliver Ames to make anything come out of it. Towards the middle of the field, they get a pass towards that far sideline, controlling and chipping it towards the middle of the field. Hopkinton defense there to put a head on it, get it out of the zone. <laughs> A uh, good opportunity. Stolen by Oliver Ames. Heading back in oh, for a shot. Just going to be just over. a little high going over the crossbar. Good opportunity to they just gain possession of that ball, turn and kick all within a good three seconds. It was good. He, it was a little off balance getting pushed around, fighting through the defenders, but it was. Uh, he did get the shot off. I think if he had his foot planted right, that would have been a better shot on target. Controlled in the middle of the field by number 10 on Oliver Ames. Works it back towards the defense. That's Diego Rivera pushing it up now. Uh, fortunate turnover. It's going to go all the way back to the Oliver Ames defense, who luckily controls through the attacking Hopkinton players and gets it out to his teammate. Uh, that was a good touch to get it around the players. As we can see, Coach Bragg in the shorts. <laughs> As we're freezing up here. <laughs> right? It's it's very impressive. I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> 20 towards the middle of the field. Ball gets controlled by number six. He puts a spin on it, trying to get through the Hopkinton defense. Feeds it towards that right side of the field on the pass. And another pass. Going to bring it in. That ball going to go out of bounds. Heading back towards the middle of the field. Hopkinton playing the body a little bit. Yep, definitely a little bit of a shove there, and it's going to be all of Rame's ball. Worked up over here for number 18, bringing it up down the sidelines. He finds Andrew Martins, feeding it over to... Williams, Williams in the middle of the field, back up to Churchill. Churchill with a shot. It's just going to be wide right. Oliver Ames is really connecting on their passes there, getting a really good conversion rate on their pass attempts, which has been helping them bring the ball deep into the zone and get some good-looking shots. Yeah, they progress forward. It, they just haven't had a chance to really get a planted shot. There. When they're getting the shots off, they're just getting worked off the ball by Hopkinton, but... Opportunities are there to really get it onto the net, though. Oliver Ames in the middle again, working it out, trying to find Diego Rivera. Eventually gets to him really far out. Rivera with a boot, trying to center it towards the middle of the field. A diving try by number 11. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was 
trying like a bicycle kick. It, it, was, <laughs> it was a little off. It's going to be a goal kick for Hopkinton. Working this close sideline, they get it to five. Now back towards that middle of the field as they look to regroup and see what they can put together for an attack. One thing Olive Reigns is definitely doing in that back line, they're just adding pressure right away to unable for Hopkinson to have a tough time to clear it out long. So Hopkinson has to look out for either short game or going off the sides to get the ball out of their defensive end. All Rames working it back. That's Williams with a big boot sending it towards the middle of the field. Hits off a Hopkinton defender and it's going to go by the wayside. Now bringing it in number 10, trying to get through people he can't. Hopkinton defense with a good job snuffing that one out, getting their foot in that ball. <coughs> Ball goes out off Hopkinton. All Rames is going to have a throw in on that far sideline. About 10 minutes left in the first half. Really, uh, Oliver Rames has had the better looking opportunities. They've definitely, the yeah, put together some great shot opportunities, some great scoring opportunities. Uh, they've definitely dominated on the time on, time on attack. They're connecting with all of their passes. In this first half, they definitely look like the more dominant team, but on the scoreboard, they're looking the same right now. Yeah, Hopkinton has gotten capitalized their opportunities. They had a few good opportunities from their throw in to get it onto the net and uh, that free kick. Um, like I said in the beginning, like towards the beginning of the half, the team captain, number 10 for Hopkinton, has been like controlling the middle of the field, but he's the ball's kind of been away from him. So you kind of really haven't seen him in the offensive attack mode to help his team out. Great heads up play by Oliver Ames, player there, kicking the ball off of the defenseman for Hopkinton, getting it out of bounds. We're going to get a corner. Corners up, headed towards the middle, bounding through. It's up in the air, still in the middle. It hasn't gotten out yet. Hopkinton def defense still hasn't been able to get a foot on it. Shot gets uh -huh. blocked. Back towards the middle of the field, and the defense snuffs it out, brings it out towards the middle. Oliver Ames stops the clear, though, and is starting to bring it back in. Towards the middle of the field, they work it over towards number 18 with a sh shot or a pass towards the middle. Doesn't find anyone except for the Hopkinton team. And now they have the ball going the other way. Up this close sideline, number two has it controlling. Ball goes off, number 18 for a throw in coming from Hopkinton. 20 with a deep toss in, finds number 18. Balls work towards uh, the middle of the field by Oliver Ames' defense, trying to get another attack going before this half runs out. we got about eight minutes left. Tie game. Ball's going out of bounds for an Oliver Ames throw in. Hawkinson tried that last effort to try to kick that ball around. 18 plays it on the ground, looking for his teammate, gets it to him. Martins plays it back to 18. Now up top, Churchill. Working it back towards Williams, and now sent in. Always back line, just has to be careful. It looks like the Hopkinton's two front guys uh, have some speed to catch up. They close down the gap when they're trying to pass back and try to reset. 18 with the ball now. He's working up that left sideline. He finds Andrew Martins. Martins stops his uh, his pursuit. Uh, Rethinks nice it. Goes at it again. Oh. Shot is on net. Finds the goaltender. Yeah, unfortunately right to the goaltender. I was going to say, he was working that back line. He just needs to chip it right into the box, and he thought it would be a good opportunity. Good goaltender save. able to uh, stick out his hands and save it. Yep. <laughs> 18's working this close sideline. 
trying to get through a defender. He gets through one, oh, trying to put something on net. Is. Oh, oh, they couldn't connect. Couldn't get that first touch. We got a push, no call. Went down pretty hard. <laughs> the ref is definitely animated about the call not not giving the call up. Number 10. Referee wanted to make sure that uh, always player knew it was definitely not uh, <laughs> a foul. Tossed in by OA. Hopkins in defense, gets to it. Works it back towards the middle of the field. They have it. Oliver Ames, defenseman, gets a foot on it, sends it out towards the sideline. <coughs> Andrew Martin's playing it. And now it's kicked back towards center field. Oliver Ames player goes down. We get a call. It's going to be a set piece for Oliver Ames. Good stop by number 10. Works the ball back to 18, now back to 9. 9 to his left side, trying to feed it through. Couldn't control the ball, and now it gets sent all the way back into the Oliver Ames zone. They're going to send it to Drew Hall for safety. Clock has stopped it. Oh, it didn't, it, it didn't stop. It was just at five minutes. <laughs> Up this left side line, going to travel out of bounds. Be a Hopkinton throw in. Throw in coming for number 20. Hopkinton controlling in their own territory, trying to create something they can't they just send it right out of bounds and Oliver Ames has another chance to attack here ball goes up in the air off a head it's bounding around still another head now it's controlled on the ground by number 10 who brings it up that left side in the corner he's got two defenders to beat gets it through them back towards the center of the field passes controlled on the ground one more pass out towards number seven he sends it out to Rivera Rivera on a bounding ball in can't find anyone in there in there though. 10 towards the center. Not gonna go. We have a great opportunity here coming for Oliver Ames. Bunch of bunch of chances coming, but this uh Hopkinton defense able to get their foot on all of them. Over to that. That's number 19, Andrew Martin on the header that didn't connect. And the goalie's gonna wrap this up. So a great little attack. Oliver Ames got maybe four or five cool, great shot opportunities. But nothing happens. Nothing amounts from them. Yeah, that last opportunity, I couldn't tell if the play was like just trying to get like a bite kick in to get the kick, or just he saw the ball and just was trying to get some kind of foot on it to just get it in the direction of the net. Brought up this left side by Craig Churchill. Going to be a throw in coming by number 20. Churchill gets his foot on it. Trying to stop any attack that's coming. 10 is bringing it up. He connects with number 11. Oh, Defensive whiffs on the yeah. ball. Number 7 brings it up and controls for Oliver Ames. Oliver Ames bringing it back towards the center of the field. Loose ball picked up by Oliver Ames and controlled now. It's going to go out off that far sideline. Oliver Ames throw in. Getting close to the two minute mark. So. Controlled in the middle of the field by Oliver Ames. That's number 10. Works it out to his teammate on that right side. Bringing it in. That's Rivera. Back to 10. Trying to mount an attack. Trying to feed the ball up towards number 18. Dumping it off for number 19, Andrew Martins. 
and eventually one out by Hopkinson. They're going to have the ball going the other way. They have it for a throw in. Ball is up in the air. Not going to find anyone. We've reached the two minute mark, so clock has stopped. We're on official time now. Yeah, it shouldn't be that much extra time. It was really just subbing, so I would think it'd just be a minute. All the Rams trying to look forward. Switching the field. Back towards the middle, number 10, bringing it into the zone. He's guarded by two defenders. Gets a shot Get opportunity. Oh. Going to go off the post. The post. It made it past the goalie, but just off the post. Oliver Ames still controlling the ball. They've definitely had more offensive opportunities than this Hopkinton team. They seem to be the dominant soccer team here in this first half, at least. So they get another opportunity here. Martin's bringing it in. He gets stripped, though. Hopkinson boots it up the other way. Kept in by Craig Churchill. Gives it over to 18. And another boot coming by Hopkinton. And with our angle on that last shot, it didn't look like he had a clear shot to shoot it. But got its way through, even past the goalie, but unfortunately hit the post. Over to number 10. He's feeding it to his teammate on that far side. It'll kick in towards the middle. Not going to go. Right, and there's the whistle for halftime. So that is it for the first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, what has been a back-and-forth little half. All of Rams has been controlling offensively, but still anyone's game. Yeah. All right, thank you for uh, watching our ECATS presentation for the Division Two Boys Soccer Champion. We'll take a little break and come back with the second half. So welcome back to Walpole High School. We get ready for the second half action here of the MIAA Division II State Championship of Boys Soccer. We're taking a look at Oliver Ames Tigers versus the Hopkinton Hillers. And it is a chilly one here at Walpole tonight. We had a 0-0 game as the second half kicks off. <clears throat> And Oliver Ames, the home team here, is going to get the ball in the second half. We'll see if Oliver Ames continue uh, adding pressure to Hopkinton as they did in the first half. Yeah, Oliver Ames had a great first half. Lots of great scoring opportunities. Looks like Hopkinton's going to get the jump here in the first couple, the first shot opportunity, first shot on net here of the second half. Ball's in the air. Settled down in the Oliver Ames zone. Hopkinton bringing it in. It's going to go into that corner, go off that back line. It's going to be a goal kick. Yeah, we kind of saw how in the first half how Hopkinton came right away with the pressure, and then Oliver Ames just had to you know, like get the blunt of the storm and try to work their way back. Yeah, absolutely. It was a uh, definitely an Oliver Ames-controlled first half after the initial couple attacks from Hopkinton. Drew Hall works that ball back up towards the center of the field. See if the Oliver Ames Tigers can get their first attack of the half. Ball is kept in the Oliver Ames zone by number seven of Hopkinton working it up. <clears throat> now towards the middle of the field. Player goes down, no call. And the Oliver Ames defense gets that ball out of there. Ooh, close. Good one, oh. and we have a goal for Hopkinton. They had a pass that came in. It was a high pounce for in the air. He controlled the ball, turned towards net, and took the shot. Shot, I don't think, really got too far off the ground or was even too hard. It was just perfectly placed. Let's we'll take a look at the replay here. We got that high pass. Gets it, controls center of it. Yeah, it's just a bouncing ball. It gets by Drew, the goalie, Drew Hall, and Hopkinton out to a one nothing lead. And it was definitely close for an offside um, call, and I think that's what Oliver Ames is looking for, but they just couldn't really step to and stop the shot from going off to the opposite corner. one nothing Hopkinton as Oliver Ames resets. Definitely didn't look 
the best coming out of the half. Uh, right away, Hopkinton came in with a couple attacks, two, three of them. And on that last one, they finally connected with the back of the net. Putting more pressure on here now is Hoppington, number seven, kicking it forward. Oliver Ames defense rushing back to try to defend. Ball gets worked Ooh. up, player goes down. Um, it's definitely one of those questionable ones. The foot kind of got locked up into it, so it's you don't really fighting for the ball either. I think at this stage of the game, like being the state finals, it kind of let it just play through. But that that's one of those plays that get, it could get called in, like if it was a regular season game. Oliver Ames still yet to get a decent possession in the Hopkinton zone this half. So we get a call that's going to end up going the Oliver Ames way. Nah, yeah, that was a def definitely a shoulder push on that one. That That is the right call. Wasn't one of those I could lean to one way. Hopkinton threw his shoulder in to try to push off Oliver Ames. So we'll see if Oliver Ames can start getting there back to the opportunities that they had in the first half. They just couldn't execute, like, get that final touch. That Ooh. one has a deflection, is going to head out of bounds off that back line. It's going to be a corner kick for Oliver Ames. Number 11 is going to take it in that far corner, see if they can't get a good opportunity here. Pass goes up to the defenders and now kicked in from that angle over there. Hopkinton defense with a good job getting their head on the ball, put it on the ground, get it out of the crease. This yeah, one kicks through. Cannot capitalize on it. He just needs to cut it in right there in the middle. Oh. It's a good pass coming from Oliver Ames. They put it towards the center. Nobody was there to connect on it and put it home. I, I couldn't tell the numbers, but the forward for, yeah, that was a, Bad kick from the back. Uh, the forward from Oliver Ames was coming back uh, from the inner box, and I think the play that was on top of the 18 should have just ran it through and would have had a good clear shot on the net. Number eight is going to take it at about the 23-yard line. Kicking it in, it's high. You're going to need a head on it to center it towards goal. Ball is still bouncing up. Corner. Yeah. It's going to go out, be a corner for Oliver Ames. Number eight sets up in that corner once again. Wow, that was a little corner. Different. Oh, got tangled up in the legs. Couldn't get a foot on that. I didn't think that corner was going to work its way to the middle of the box. Big kick, sending it all the way back into that corner. Staying in bounds. That's the turn and clear. Good bounce in. Good turn by Oliver Ames. There, here's the opportunity. Pass. Have a shot. Shot stays oh. on the ground. Goalie with a good job wrapping that one up. <clears throat> diving on it, controlling the ball. Good job for Oliver Ames, really, to transition from the back. That ball wasn't getting cleared out of bounds, and the defense was able to turn its body and kick it up, and Oliver Ames was able to work its way only to have a, uh, a shot opportunity. Hopkinton working it back the other way now, maybe seeing if they can't get a look of their own. That's Craig Churchill taking the ball the way from the Hopkinton defense. And now it's coming back up for Oliver Ames. Can't do it. Hopkinton sends it back into the Oliver Ames zone. On that far side, it's controlled. Sent over to Diego Rivera here on this close side. Working it up that sideline. Finds number eight. Back up to Rivera. Trying to get it down in that corner. See if he can't win a race. It's going to go off that back line. Be a goal kick. And Oliver Ames has really had a good midfield transition. 
to work from the backfields forward. To keep adding pressure for Hopkinton. Pass goes up that far sideline. Yep, calls out of bounds. Out of bounds going to be Oliver Ames' ball. Hopkinton fans are not liking that call. Looks like a more jam-packed uh, sideline on the other side than it did the girls' game. It does. The people are all, even the standing room down at the, uh, the field side seats. Very, very packed crowd. Both sides doing a great job to support their teams. It's going to be another throw in for Hopkinton. They get the ball in. Goes into that corner. They're going to play it and control it down there, see if they can get a pass towards the middle of the field. One out by Oliver Ames' defense and pushed ahead now back towards the center. Still working it up. That's Oliver Ames on that far sideline. Just loses control of the ball. They get the little pass up to the guy ahead of him. Another pass towards the center controlled by Oliver Ames. A foot gets in from the Hopkinton player, kicking it out of the attack zone. That one's going to go all the way to the goalie, Drew Hall. And he'll wrap that one up for the Tiger team. One thing that both teams are looking for is foul calls when they get tossed to the ground, but the referee's <coughs> very animated <laughs> about telling them that it's not a call at all. Drew Hall scoops this one up again. Going to look for another goal kick. He punts this one. This one's a high, nice punt. Makes it all the way to about the 36-yard the line on the other side of the field. That one's going out off of Oliver Ames. Going to be a Hopkinton throw in. Another throw in, they're gonna hug, the, hug that close sideline, balls bounding in the air. Couple of headers from Hopkinton. They finally control the ball on the ground and push it towards that far sideline. Ooh, Barely keeps it in. Save. He had to really lunge for that save, but he stopped it from going out of bounds. That one's gonna go all the way back to Drew Hall, and he will wrap that one up and send it out to his teammates. Ball stays in the air, Oliver Ames doing everything they can to just get it to travel deep into that Hopkinton zone. They're gonna end up getting a throw in down on this close sideline. Ball comes in, number seven, pushing it back. Hopkinton turning on it now. Connecting on their passes, getting through. Now they're just dumping it in. Oh, we coming. Always oh, defense is stepping back to recover, to uh, regroup. Yeah, the OA defense has done a good job getting back. It seems the more we travel in this game, Hopkinton seems to just be dumping it into the goaltender, not really having people to attack the ball once they get down there. No, but with Hopkinton's two front guys, they do have speed to recover because even that last time when they were um, Oliver Ames going back for... <laughs> OA trying to get an extra 10 yards <laughs> for their throw-in. <laughs> but, um, but Oliver Ames, when they were, uh, the ball was going back, they were trying to reset, and Hopkinton's speed was gaining, uh, closing the gap down. Attack coming from Oliver Ames, trying to control the ball on the ground. They get the pass over to Rivera. Get Rivera has a little in. bit of room. He gets another pass over to seven, can't control. Ooh, deflection off Bounces the corner. Off of 21, going to be an Oliver Ames corner kick. Oliver Ames couldn't get his body just right to try to chip that in the first time, so they had to work their way from the outside. A 
11 on the kick, centers it. First touch is by a Hopkinton defender. 11 eventually works out, controls the ball himself. Gets it back towards his teammates. Going to go into that corner. Hopkinton player going to try to clear the ball. It's still working its way down the line. Yeah, off the back of Hopkinton. But. Controlled at midfield, number 22, bringing it up this close sideline. Oliver Ames defense, good job stripping the ball away, sending it back up. Ball keeps getting played in the air. Oliver Ames trying to mount an attack, send that ball forward. Get a shot yeah, opportunity. A little push, yeah, that was a little push in the back. Trying a little too aggressive from behind to try to get a poke, but. Number 20 is on the kick for Hopkinton. 21, excuse me. Header coming from the Oliver Ames defense, trying to get the ball back out of their zone into the attacking zone. Big kick. Oh, good turnaround, closing the gap. Ooh. Ref let it play. Yeah. They're both down. Right, the stop on the clock. Uh, I think the ref let it play just because they got to uh, Hopkinton's goalie. So Hopkin Hopkinton didn't lose control of the, uh, of the ball, so. Hopkinson player is up. Oliver Ames player having a little bit more difficulty. But he is up and walking around on his own. But I don't think it didn't look like that bad of a foul. I just think since the goalie got it, uh, the ref just let it play on because no possession was gained. High clear from Hopkinton hits off the head of an all Rams player. They play it back in. What now the Hopkinton, speed of Hopkinton. Oh, trying to feed something through for their speedy guy there. They just couldn't do it. It's going to get pushed uh, ahead. A little slip on the turf. Unfortunate. Ball in here. 13 trying to put a little turnaround on it. Five for Oliver Ames. Gets the head. Sends it back into the Hopkinton zone. No team really controlling here for the past 10 minutes or so. Now in midfield, and now the ball's is kind of bouncing around. It's when the def oh, on both teams is when the defense gets it and starts placing it to give the forwards an opportunity. But both teams having a hard time midfield to get control of the ball. Pass goes up that far sideline. Controlled by Oliver Ames and brought Good the other away. way now. Doesn't have the numbers. And that ball is just going to go yeah. out of bounds for a goal kick. I don't know if he had one more opportunity to give a push and had a shot on that. Yeah, he had, he had a good angle on it. One of Oliver Ames' better chances here in this second half. Another one coming. Feeding towards the middle, see if they get a shot opportunity. Gets blocked by a defender and kicked back out. Kind of overran the ball at first. Kind of get a one-timer on that. Ball's up in the air. Headed by Oliver Ames back into the Hopkinton zone. A little slip there on the turf. Seen a couple of players have that for Oliver Ames. Try to plant that foot down and... Oh. Good try to get that cross in, but the players were already forward too much and just went into open space. Pass goes over to his other defenseman for Oliver Ames, trying to work something up. Really just resetting, controlling here. Up that close sideline and controlled by the Hopkinton player.
Rivera with a high kick lofts into the Hopkinton zone. All the Rams trying to control, get a couple passes yeah. to connect, see if they can get an opportunity. Hopkinton player gets to the ball first. Here we go, number seven on the side. See if he can get across. He whiffs on the kick. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick. Yeah. Oh, he's bench wants a corner kick, but just no way. Just they're getting opportunities to get into the box. You just can't finalize that last open space. Line drive kick coming from the goalie reaches the other side of the field. Hopkinton turns on the ball, has a little bit of speed getting by those Oliver Ames defenders. Gets the ball into the corner and it's going to get one out by Oliver Ames. You're seeing Oliver Ames' speed really helping them in the front. Then out working on the sides like uh, Oliver Ames is. That kick's going to travel out of bounds. The Hopkinton ball. Number 21 is going to get the throw in. It's a far toss. Goes by everybody. And number 10 of Hawkinson wins it out. He's going to put something towards the net. A little bobble by Hall, but he scoops it up and controls it for the Tigers. Shorter punt this time. Not going to reach the 50. But number 7 scoops it up for the Tigers and connects on a pass, trying to get something going in the attacking zone. Wow. Uh. Trying to switch it to the opposite corner, but the defenders got some height over there. Was able to clear it. Yeah. Hopkinton fans unlocking that, but kind of a little of a hook on the foot, so Olive Rams gets the free kick. Down the middle for the Oliver Ames kick towards goal. It's going to go wide right, wrapped up by the goaltender anyways. Kick clears midfield. 22 connects on the pass over to his right side. And Hopkinton trying to get something going in their attacking zone. Controlled at midfield by Hopkinton, really just playing keep away here. Playing a little bit conservative, not trying to let up any nice opportunities for Oliver Ames. Player goes down. I think it's one, one last verbal warning. Clock is still going, but. Right. Line drive towards the middle. On the ground, number seven. This ball's in the air. Oh, left open Header the still in the air. It's in the crease, and the Hopkinton defense gets it out of the zone. Oliver Ames is left open on that back post, but he couldn't get the header. Couldn't get the header onto the net. He just headed it across the net, the face of the net. We got a call coming on Oliver Ames. A little bit of a, a little bit of a shove. One thing, Hopkinton is playing a little conservative, slowing down, but um, Oliver Ames' speed, though, they can't do it too much. they got to really keep pressuring him. Ball travels deep into the Oliver Ames zone. Luckily, their defense is there to just send it away. So Oliver Ames' transition from the midfield to the front is working very well, so... Hopkinton, it's there's still too much time in the game for Hopkinton really to let the uh, pedal off the let the foot off the pedal. <laughs> Hopkinton really controlling on that side. They lose the pass right there. Oliver Ames strips it and is shooting it ahead, hoping to connect with number ten. He can't win the race to the ball. 
Hopkinton wins it, but Oliver Ames is still trying to control it in the Hopkinton zone. Good Towards the middle, there, shot there, there it is. is. Coming from number 11 on the crossing pass, we get a tie game. It's 1-1 here at Walpole. About 19 minutes to go. What a great goal. You kind of saw it with the replay, them just coming across, cutting kind of the middle, left wide open, and giving that uh, near post a wide open shot for him. So we have a 1-1 game here with 19 minutes left. And it's a good one here. And we'll see up the close-up version of that goal, passing it in and leaving it up, and the goalie had nothing in front to stop that. So a tie game here in Walpole. And we have a card coming against the Oliver Ames team. Coach Bragg is now walking on the field trying to figure out what the call was. Confused about the call here, not really sure why there would be a card as the play was stopped. See Coach Bragg is still on the field trying to find out what the call is. Play resumes here. Hopkinton getting the ball after the Oliver Ames goal. The only thing I could tell from the call was maybe was something to do with the fans when they went to go celebrate over there. Don't know if there was some words said and the uh, ref didn't like it. But he just had to sub off the field. He can get sub right back in. But uh, now he just has to be a little cautious. If he's another bad foul, it would be another yellow card and a red card, and then Oliver would be a man down. But as long as he comes back onto the field and plays a safe game, I, it should be fine. Hopkinton in the zone, trying to answer the goal, just scored against them. Ooh, that seemed like that a big push. That is a bad. That's going to be a card. Foul. Yeah. Comes up with an elbow against the back of the head. That is severe yellow. Ooh. Another stop in play oh, wow. here. <laughs> I, that, that benefits Oliver Ames, but I, I, I think the player slipped on the turf before he fell. <laughs> but it benefits Oliver Ames in that play, so Oliver Ames gets a free kick. And the ref size, that was a push on the ground. Kick goes towards the middle of the field. Uh, going to go by going everybody. Back post. And out of bounds.
Controlled by the middle in the middle of the field by Hopkinton, working it back towards this close sideline, looking to regain another attack. It's been a while since their last shot opportunity. Oliver Ames feeding it back up this close sideline, number eight with the ball. A little bit too much ahead of him. Keeps it in, but it's just going to go over to the Hopkinton defender. Up in the middle of the field, that's 19, Andrew Martins with the ball, kicking it over to his left side. And now Oliver Ames controlling in the middle, getting by one player. Feeding the ball over to his teammate. Number three goes down, there's no call. Yeah, uh, eat the... It was a force down. It was a good call to play on. Oliver Ames is going to get the ball for this throw in here. I got a feeling by the end of this game, it's going to get a little more chippier. So the ref <laughs> <laughs> better off. Like a too crazy call in the game right now. Sent up that left sideline. Towards the middle for all of her aims. Beats one player. Two players collide, go down, no call. Ball is still in play. Worked out towards that sideline in the corner now. Going to be controlled by Hopkinton and sent up. That play was a little tough to say, to say which way to go, back or forth. We're gonna have a goal kick coming from the Hopkinton goalie. Kick is up and away. Feeding up that far sideline is Hopkinton, seeing if they can get the ball into the zone for another attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The refs are just having the referees just having to talk. It, it it was a foul against Hopkinton, but when he stopped, I wasn't sure if he was pulling out a card. I don't gave the throw in. I thought I, I thought that would be a tripping call. Oh wow, that was a uh, very fortunate for that throw in to get past. The Hingington, uh, Hopkinton player. Hopkinton trying to work the ball into the zone. That one's going to go all the way back to the goalie, Drew Hall. He's going to send it out to his defense. Starting to get very brisk here. Yes. <laughs> it's been very cold all oh, night. Man. Just keeps getting colder. It's always one of those games. Pushed up ahead and a shot Good opportunity. Shot, bounces. Controlled by the goalkeep. Sun goes down and still doing games. <laughs> <laughs> See a breath it's blow in front of your face. Oliver Ames trying to get something going, connecting on a pass. You keep working it on the outside. Working the ball ahead, Ooh, that's a shot. shot. Ooh. Stiving save by the goaltender. Putting a stop to that one. Oliver Ames had players working on the outside. I thought he was going to keep crossing the field, but gave a shot off in the middle. Challenged the goalkeeper. The later part of this second half, Oliver Ames has seen more, uh, more offensive opportunities than in the first. Hopkinton works the ball all the way into the zone. Gets across oh, the pass and a goal. For that. They worked the ball into that corner. Just got around the defenseman. Got it right in front of the goaltender. And the shot goes off the crossbar. A little bar down and in. Yeah, they just kept working on the outside. And they just let a player just walk right in the middle. The defender didn't follow through. 
great uh, offensive performance by Hopkinton in that 12 minutes, 41 seconds left. You wonder if that's going to be the one that decides it. Closer angle of it. He's just left open. There was, there was enough defenders to cover every, all the Hopkinton plays, but it just didn't work out. And Hopkinton, I think Hopkinton called the timeout. Either way, that goal, a huge goal, especially late in this second half. Oliver Ames, who has seemed to be taking control of the second half, at least the second part of it, gets a little bit of their wind knocked out of him by a goal here. It's important to uh, recover from this quick. You can't hang your heads. You only have 12 minutes to get back into this one. Yeah, and it was just Oliver Ames, they, if, uh, watching the replay, you just saw the Hopkinton play just walk in the middle and have a free open shot. Yeah, the defense definitely broke down. It seemed like the only one really defending the shot was the goalie. Yeah, and that's that's one way really just it takes the wind out of you just because it's one of those goals that it was stoppable. It was just a small glimpse of uh, judgment, just not prepared. So we can see if Oliver Ames keeps the pressure on and try to equalize to make it all even again. 12.41 left in the second half. I think the cold weather got to Coach Bragg. He threw on pants. <laughs> no, I can't blame him. I've put on three pairs of pants as this game has gone on. That one's going to go out off of number seven, be a Hopkinton throw-in. I imagine with these final 12 minutes or so, Hopkinton is going to be as conservative as possible. Don't want to let anything really get by them. I would assume playing mostly defense and just dumping it into the zone of Oliver Ames. Which they could because their two forward guys have the speed to catch up. So. I think it's still a little too early to dump it in the corner and kill the clock though, but they could kind of leave just two guys up front and just let them chase down the ball. Oliver Ames trying to get an attack going. Diego Rivera trying to get by a defender. Puts a little bit of a body on him. No call. Gets through, but the pass doesn't connect. Gets fished out by a Hoppington player and sent back into the Oliver Ames zone. 10 now putting on some footwork, trying to get around some people. Working it up this close sideline. Hopkington defense, though. Gets a good foot on it and sends it out in one swift kick. Yeah, uh, lucky didn't get all the foot on that one to really clear it out. Just popped it up in the air. All the ribs uh, couldn't connect to that pass. With that pass. Looks like they were getting something going, and then that pass just didn't get through. Well, referee's stopping the clock again. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Made the hand just to stop the clock <laughs> right away. It's like I let the play just play it. Stop it for the second. <laughs> Toss in from Rivera heads out to number six in the middle of the field, sending it up the other way. I think. I think our clock and the scoreboard clock might be a little fast than the ref's clock. Because he just I couldn't hear the time, but he just told the coaches what the real time is. So just glad the clock stops at five and we let the referee handle it. All right. <laughs> I think we might be 20 seconds fast. 
Kick down the middle, all of Rams trying to push it forward, get some sort of attack going, but no one's home to control the pass. So basically that means Oliver Ames has less time to recapitalize and even, even this game up. All the Rams with the boot towards, towards oh. net and a jump by the goaltender and he corrals that one. Sends it out with a boot towards midfield, getting past the 50 over to the 45. Boot in by Oliver Ames, can't get controlled by anyone, and number two of Hopkinton. Just a off. He's gonna send that one out towards the sideline. Deep throw in from Olive Rams, trying to see if they can get it into the crease. Gets fished out by Hopkinton. Olive Rams working to get it back into the zone. Uh, just walking into too many defenders, really tried to force his body through, couldn't get control of the ball. Uh, right the there, the you field. can see the speed of Hopkinton. Got by almost every defender the last right. one, though. Oh, oh. He just hits it out. Oh. <laughs> he grabbed, grabbed his knee really quick. I thought uh, he might have pulled something. Huh. Number 12 to toss it in for Hopkington. Goes in the middle ahead by Oliver Ames and a kick trying to clear it out of the attacking zone. Hopkinton is going to have another throw in. But as he saw that last play, Hopkinton's speed just kind of saved the uh, play to continue. Deep toss towards the center, up in the air. And Oliver Ames' defense gets a foot on it, trying to get it around everyone. With the clear forward. About seven minutes to play. It's on that far sideline from Hopkinton. They keep working it up. And it's gonna be Hopkinton throw. Throw coming from deep in the Oliver Ames zone. Hopkinton will have a good opportunity to control this ball and turn on it for a shot. Uh, yeah, they've had good opportunities at this distance for throw-ins. Ball still in the air, heading out. Hopkinton controlling. Down to the corner, that one's going to go out of bounds. All of Rams ball. Pass goes in short Not for number it. six. I don't know if he was ready, but the Hopkinton player was right behind him. He had to rush at that, and I think the original plan was he was going to pass it back to the goalkeeper, but the speed of Hopkinton, you can't have your back against him because they'll sneak up right behind you. Oliver Ames working it up, trying to get an attack going, bringing the ball in the zone. They have some numbers. Bring it in. Ball's in a good area to shot. It's going to go wide left. Didn't get the angle on it. Yeah, deflection. It would have been tough for him to get it in the middle low just because the amount of players there. Corners up, curving towards the goal, pushed out by the goaltender. Good play by the Hopkinton goalkeeper. Oh. But we're gonna have another set ball at about the 10 yard line, so hold your breath.
clock is going to reach five minutes right now. But they didn't stop it. Uh, they might stop at the two minute. <laughs> Well, this is a good opportunity for Oliver Ames. Best opportunity Oliver Ames has seen in a while. The shot is up, oh. and it's going to go off the crossbar of, of, the, the, of the field goal. Of post. the field goal, not the ghost, <laughs> not the goal post. But the shot was just a little bit too high, maybe about two, two and a half feet lower, and it would be good opportunity for a shot. Pass goes up towards the center, controlled by Oliver Ames. Towards that left sideline, Hopkins, a player, can't get there. It's going to be an Oliver Ames throw in. We've got an Oliver Ames timeout first, though, as they want to talk things over heading into this final four minutes of play. So this is definitely going to work down. The one thing that Hopkinton has is the speed, and that really helps them just dump the ball, let him run it through. But Oliver Ames is working the ball and still making an opportunity. Like, you can't really count them out. They're just going to finish once they get it closer into the box. I just overheard the Hopkinton coach yelling, clear everything. So I think that's their game plan going into these last four minutes. Anything in the Hopkinton zone, just get it out of there. Yeah, they've been they've been doing it a little bit throughout the game, just dumping the ball in the front and letting their guys with the speed run on top of it. So it, it could work for them and still work for them to have um, shot opportunities. About four minutes to go. We're going to get the throw in on this close sideline coming by Rivera. Diego Rivera gets the ball on the ground towards Churchill. Works it back towards Rivera, hugging that close sideline. Passes in oh. towards the middle. Lots of defenders back there for. Yeah, I was going to say that was a good header in, but there was no one there to accept it. Controlled up the far sideline now, back towards the middle of the field. Looked like a shot was coming, but a block by number five of Hopkinton. Oh, good header, couldn't find anybody. Oh. oh. Oliver Ames almost just got caught without a defenseman back. Well, they still have, their last defenders at the 50 yard, like halfway field, but, um, Hopkinton really only has one person like at a midfield. Everybody else is inside the box. They really dropped everybody in. Definitely playing conservatively, defensively here. These last final minutes just trying to put the cap on this state championship. Good chip in, header. header. Oh, there it is. The diving ball is in. Oh, wait. The ball is in. Yes, the referee calls it. It is a goal. Amazing bouncing goal coming from Oliver Ames. Ties this game at 2-2, and we got about three minutes to play. We'll see the replay. Uh, nope, the re <laughs> we captured the replay too late. Unfortunately, we were waiting for the call by the referee. You saw the plays go in. You saw the net shake. You couldn't tell if it was from, from the ball or from the player. So a tie game here, 2.49 left to play here in the second half. And Hopkinton has let up game tying goal. That was a good chip in from Oliver Ames to get it. They were trying to get that early and just couldn't connect to anybody on that end and they get the ball past the goalie. Pushed off. another long ball. Oh, Oliver Ames, they get See, another little opportunity here. Uh, Couldn't get Oliver enough players gonna back. going to be close to that. He put his back into it. Could have been a call against him. It's 
All the Rams just can't give free plays up. They're doing a good job the whole game, working the ball to their favor. They just can't give up opportunities. Oh, could it get it? a goal! Oh, my God, I can't believe it. A high pass and a bicycle kick to put it in. And all the Rams is taking the lead. 3-2 all the Rams, two goals in the we last saw minute. saw this pass come in, and he just puts a foot on it, and it pops over the gloves of the goal, Hopkinson goalkeeper. A spinning just kick. just like that, a minute, two minutes. They, they two didn't start point. that clock. No, they didn't start the clock. No. All right, we started yeah. We started it. They did not start the clock here. But Just to make sure, we would like an administrator or two from each team to meet at midfield so at the end of the game. In Please. a crazy also turn of events, all the Rangers scored two goals in the past minute. The and taking a lead in this one, 3 on 2. Still haven't started that clock. They're going to keep it stopped at 249. And that ball is going to go into that left corner. They just let it go out of bounds. Amazing, though, for all of Raves to just stay with this game all the way through, not letting up on any opportunity and taking advantage of every one they get. Ball is up in the air. Bounding around. Hopkinton trying to put a little attack on. It's getting in. All of Rames defense doing their best to snuff it out, but we're going to have a free kick coming from Hopkinton, so this game isn't over yet. We'll see how this free kick comes in. The captain for Hopkinton taking it. It's like a six or seven man wall for all of the Rams. Goes up and over. It'd be good if it was a field goal, but it is not. Good goal kick coming from Drew Hall, setting this out of the zone. All the Rams just going to try to keep this out of their zone for as long as they can. Don't want to let up any possible shots to Hopkinton. Twelve with a quick throw in, trying to get something going before time runs out. Ball goes in the middle. All of Rams defense, good job getting a foot on it, kicking it up, getting it past the 50 and into the Hopkinton zone. They have to reset. Big pass in, headed out. All of Rams now has a jump. Now they have a little work attack. It's, down. it's a one on one here. He stops a little bit, regains. Doesn't want to lose. The ball, he still has the ball deep in that corner. And still in bounds. Finally going to go out. It's going to be a Hopkinton throw in. Not sure how much time we have left here. But Hopkinton is going to work as hard as they can. Now it's going the other way. We're going to have a stop and a kick for Oliver Ames. That and is that it. That is it. And Oliver Ames is D2 state champions. The Oliver Ames Tigers boys soccer team is the Reminded Division II Spectators, please, state champions in, in 2022. Field. What an amazing season. What an amazing accomplishment for all these boys. It is the perfect way to end a great season. They had two goals in, in about a minute to turn this game around when the clock was stopped. Just when you think they had no chance, they take it right out from underneath you. And all of Rames is going home. Division two state championship, state champions tonight. Yeah, definitely a good game. It went back and forth. There was a hot fight. Uh, we like to thank uh, all the all of Ames athletic departments for helping us broadcast the season. All the announcers uh, this year, and uh, congratulations to all of Rames boys soccer, D two state champions. So uh, thank you for uh, watching the ECAP broadcast of Oliver Ames Boys Soccer. Uh, you guys uh, hopefully have a good night, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the winter season coming up. Yes, sir. Uh, it's been uh, fun. Yeah, Adam Carrero reporting and announcing with uh, Jack Ryan.
and you guys have a nice night. Oliver Ames High School Sports home game coverage is underwritten in part by Bank of Easton, Premier Properties, Law Office of Sutton and Sutton, Easton Historical Society and Museum. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's home games possible. All the Rams just can't give free plays up. They're doing a good job the whole game, working the ball to their favor. They just can't give up opportunities. Oh, could it get That's it? It's a goal! Oh, oh my god, I can't believe it! A high pass and a bicycle kick to put it in, and all the Rams is taking the lead. That and is that it. That is it. And all the Rams is D2 state champions. The all the Rams. Tigers boys soccer team is the Division II state champions in 2022. What an amazing season. Some minutes we just said give it all. We worked so hard this season to get to this point, right? They wanted it, so we couldn't give it away. At least give it your all to make sure we get to the end. Feel uncomfortable, we did all we could. So it was really a great opportunity and so proud of boys for stepping out from the freshmen that helped out all practices, sophomores, the juniors, and our seniors, our eight seniors. We're going to miss them terribly, but let me tell you, they leave quite the legacy behind. So, when you're down two, uh, two to one in stoppage time, was there any doubt? How do you put this kind of ending into words? So, I mean, there's always a little bit of doubt because we should have scored many times prior to, right? I mean, they had four chances on us and they scored two, so that was a challenge for us, right? Considering we had a lot of opportunity, so we were worried um, on the side, like, is it not the luck, right? Usually, you want to have some luck too, but we were worried. In a tournament, you need luck. You need a lot of things to go your way. But then we just decided to take it into our own hands. The guys are like, we're going to get this. We were never really worried about losing, which is interesting because we only have four minutes left. So we switched Hector. We've trained this all year. Well, if we go down, we're going to put Hector up. We did it. He scores a tie and goal. And then we also said that we're going to keep pressing, pressing, pressing because once the momentum shifts, they're going to get nervous because they were nervous all night. And then, I mean, God, I mean, we found a great ball over the top. Casey flips the ball over the goalie. I mean, that's the rest is history, and now we're uh, we're having a good time. That was right? Hector on the uh, game tying goal. Correct. Who hit it off the yes. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Hector hit uh, the scored a game tying goal coming up from the back, um, which uh, he wanted really bad because he feels that he conceded the second goal by not kicking it out. So I'm really happy for a senior who he's been amazing for us all four years. Like he's been a phenomenal player. It would have been terrible if he felt that he had cost the game. So, so happy he was able to, to pull that off and get the win. And then obviously, as the play developed, they were still in shock. Who passed Milliken the ball? Is I have no ball? idea. Nobody seems to know. <laughs> no one has a Some clue, and at the end of the day, <laughs> no one cares right now, but it was just a great, at that point we're desperate. I think Jake Williams, to be fair, if you want it honestly, Jake Williams sent the ball in, Casey got in behind the back line, chipped it up and over. So it was Jake Williams, but. I don't want to give him too much credit. So. <laughs> and for Casey, right, yeah, a quiet tournament by his standards, but the All-American making an All-American play. I tell people right? All-Americans do what they do when they when we need it the most. Yeah. You know, and uh, Cardoza, funny, our other All-American came today and gave the speech. We have a really tight family for alums and, and, and the, the, the crew here. So he came, he was a guest this, tonight, this morning, uh, I'm sorry, this afternoon, to talk to the boys about the speech. It was funny that the All-American kind of gave the other guys the energy and the, the, the desire to want to succeed. And I mean, Casey, he pulled it together, right? He didn't score one goal the first seven chances, not even an assist. And now he pulls out two goals in this game to win it all, which it's not just him, but, but it's a great effort on his part. For sure. You talked about it earlier. This is such a young team. You do have Hector, you have Jake Williams as seniors that start, but otherwise it's a bunch of sophomores and juniors. Yeah. What, is there a bridge between the two timelines? What, what's kind of the, the, the limit for this team? Like, what, What's this, this team's potential? You know, the funny thing is, is I tell everyone, like, it's one year at a time, right? And it's one season because you never know who's coming back. You never know who's going to be healthy. You never know who's not going to be around. You know what I mean? So for us, I'm not even looking to the future. I'm going to enjoy this as long as we can. And then we'll talk about the future in, in a week. All right? <laughs> so we'll, 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 get, we'll get going right next week. So thank you, guys. So it was minutes. 15? Yeah, like 15, yeah. 15, yeah it's, it's good. I mean, kind of, as you know, I, I think that they were totally new. Like, these kids were in the stands watching our kids play, right? So none of these kids have had that experience. So um, we have a little bit of a fun and a little history. So I bring the ring if we ever play a state championship ring. So all the guys are like, they wanted a ring. 
So they were really working hard. I think that it's funny, they're really enticed by material things. So, uh, you know, we, we wanted to get them a ring. But uh, it was great to watch them finish it out, to be honest, because, like, would have been a challenge. Because you never have to get back here, right? I think this group deserved it. You know what? It's, it's the kids. The kids did it all, right? The kids were the ones who motivated themselves. They wanted to be here. They came in fit. As you can see, we don't go too, too deep. Uh, we have a great team here of uh, the coaches, our Athletic trainer, Cassie, she's always wanted to help, keep them healthy and tell them to let get back out there. Our AD's been super supportive. We have the whole, the our principal's great, and I know they're new, but we're getting to know each other, and, like, the community is awesome. So you saw the crowds today. So I think the kids had a lot more than just the coaches to thank. They had all these people to kind of support them and, and kind of get them going. <laughs> I mean, man, I, can't, I can't even think right now. Think about the, the game. I mean, it, was, it was qu went by quick, you know. Um, you know, we went down early, you know, on a – on an unfortunate goal, but um, you know we've come from behind before, so it wasn't something we haven't seen. And then it was just, you know, playing as a team from then on out, and it just, and then it clicked for us, put in three. Um, yeah, it, def it definitely, you know, helped us be the number one team. You know, coming in gave us a con some confidence and uh, put pressure on us early. But um, JB gave us quote, pressure builds diamonds, so. We, we live by that every day of practice, going into every game, that we're going to use the pressure and we're going to use that number one seat to our advantage. Yeah, I mean, it's been like that all season. We couldn't have done it without the coaches, JB, Rick, Dan, all of them. And um, it really just, them being there for us every day, them pushing us, and it really paid off. Feels really good, you know, not, not even just here at school every day, you know, Friday before going into this. Um, and every every day before every game, you know, we felt the love from our school. So it, ma it makes us feel good going into the game knowing that we have some support from them. Yeah, so um, we obviously conceded the first goal in the second half, but uh, we we knew we could fight back, and we we showed we could fight back. We tied it up. They pulled ahead again with like four minutes left, but uh, we never lost hope, and we scored two in four minutes. So that just really sums up like how much fight we have and how determined we are to work for each other. I mean, first of all, I'd like to say that Hopkinton made it very hard. I mean, they're a great team. They got to the finals for a reason, and they showed that today. But, um, I mean, that's something we worked on the, the, whole, the whole year. And uh, we've showed it many games that we can do it. And I think today just really topped it all off and showed that what we're capable of. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've been together since a young age, like since we were three years old playing in a thing called the Dome. I mean, we, we've had that chemistry, and um, we knew it was possible, especially with our senior leadership on and off the field. Oh God, it's crazy. The school, the school. We we have a great school. Everyone that goes to our school, the, the school pride that we show, not just for soccer but for all sports, is really something special, and it it doesn't go unnoticed.